Hi, how's it going? <laughs> so to start this little update out, just to let you know, everyone is fine. We're fine. Nothing is wrong. Everybody's good. Sorry, we have been basically MIA from the internet for like two months. As a lot of you probably know, we film pretty well in advance, generally at least a month out. And things have been going with our general home life and scheduling that have made that really, really difficult. So here's the plan. I'm gonna go ahead and lay this out at the beginning here and I'll get into more of an explanation as to what's been going on for those of you that are curious. Everything is still going. We're still working on things. Uh, the plan for the rest of this month is we are going to try and be live streaming soap making on Wednesdays over on Twitch. Uh, I know a lot of you like having the option to watch over here on YouTube, but we just really prefer the experience for us as streamers and how much more interactive it is over on Twitch. So that's where we're gonna be. Uh, I don't have a time for you. Cat works until nearly four. Uh, so it wouldn't be until after that and we got to feed the kids and everything. So it probably won't be until an evening thing, but that's the current plan. Um, we won't have any videos really this month. We, we just don't have anything filmed. So we're going to try and live stream and I would recommend our link in the description to our Twitch channel so that you can get notifications. I know the community tab here does not always notify you until well afterwards. And we generally don't stream for more than a couple of hours at a go. So would recommend following over there on Twitch. We're also trying to get back into streaming video games again. I have been working on setting up a modded Stardew Valley that we can play together. Uh, we need to rethink our streaming setup so that we can have it downstairs, not up in my room. It's a work in progress. So hopefully later today we will be streaming over on Twitch and you can catch us there. And we're gonna try and start streaming on the weekends with video games again, because we very much miss that. So in terms of what's been going on, here we go. Uh, as some of you know, if you're in the Discord or you've caught a couple of our live streams that we've managed to get through, uh, prior to the pandemic, all three of the adults in our household, so myself, Kat, and my spouse, David, were working. And the pandemic hit and David's job basically dropped him down to just a few hours once a week. He was the one home with the kids. Uh, the kids were home and not in school. I was working from home. I still am at the moment, but that's not forever. Uh, but now that things are starting to reopen, because I'm definitely not gonna say the pandemic's over, it's clearly not, but the kids are back in school, Cat is at work, I'm still working from home, and David got a new job. Uh, David is now working nights. And I think I did not quite realize what that was going to mean for my day-to-day -day life and schedule and for cats. So what our, at least my day, looks like at the moment is I wake up around 6.30 to get ready for work at 7. Uh, David comes home right around 7 from working overnight. He gets the kids to school and then immediately goes to bed. Now, our entire like the backside of what we do here for the business and for the channel is in my bedroom. <laughs> we stream from there. All of our products are up there. All of my packaging materials are up there. Every space that we use that isn't for actively making product is up there. So David needs to sleep during the day. <laughs> he works really hard at this new job uh, where he's frequently working 12 hour shifts, he's exhausted. He needs the chance to rest. So, so he sleeps through the entirety of my work shift, sometimes a little bit longer until I get off work at 3.30. Um, he has to get up a couple of times during that to go pick the kids up from school and he drops them off at school as well. And then my shift is over. I get maybe an hour before it's time to make dinner. Uh, Kat comes home during that time period and I make dinner and then the kids want to hang out and you know I always pick my kids and David wakes up and needs to eat and he eats after the rest of us because his schedule is thrown off and he goes to work again and Kat and I have a little bit of time where maybe we can <laughs> try to de-stress from the day and then it all starts all over again and I did not quite realize how much 
my working from home was going to affect that. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain, but David needs the lights out to sleep, obviously. <laughs> so I wake up at 630 in the morning where it's still dark. And then it's dark in my room where I'm working for my corporate job, my entire shift. And I get maybe an hour and a half, two hours of sunlight at the end of my shift before it's dark again. So I'm basically living that cave troll life. <laughs> and for the first month and a half, uh, it fucked me up. It fucked me up good. And I was not expecting that in the slightest. I had some serious struggles with my attention and with being able to focus. I was forgetting to eat and that was making it worse. <laughs> I was not okay. I was very, very much not okay for a while. Um, I'm finally at the point where I'm feeling better and I have managed some new habits that are better and are healthier and are allowing me to not be all fucked up. So <laughs> what that means is I needed to put anything like video editing and filming and photography and website management and all the stuff that I normally do on the back burner because I just was not capable of handling it. Uh, so we haven't filmed in a really long time. I haven't even vlogged. If you follow our vlog channel, I haven't vlogged because I just have not had the mental capacity for it. So I'm just starting to get back into vlogging this week. It's now uh, middle of August, early August. Even now I just had to stop filming because I got a call from the kids' school. <laughs> so overall, it's it's been a lot. I'm not gonna lie. It's been a lot. So, <laughs> and thank you so much to those that reached out to check on us. You're very, very sweet and I very much appreciate it. Uh, I don't have a ton of updates for you right now. We're not gonna have a launch in August because we just didn't have time for it. Whatever we make during the live streams will be part of a September launch. The website's still up. We're still getting packages out. It's a little slower than normal. Apologies on that, a lot slower than I would normally have liked it. We usually are like one to two, maybe three business days, and it's been closer to like four or five. Just kind of the nature of things right now. So your patience is so appreciated, but I wanted to check in and let you all know that we're okay. Hope you're all doing well. This is your reminder to uh, take that moment for your mental health if you need to. That's what I've been doing. I know I'm kind of guilty of not doing that appropriately. And uh, this last month or so, has been a lesson in that for sure. So actually it's more than a month, it's more like two months. Mm. <laughs> All right, so we will see you hopefully over on Twitch soon, later today, maybe this weekend. We're gonna make it work. We want to make soap, we wanna hang out with you all, we miss you, hope you're doing well. This is your hydration reminder. Go, hydrate friend. I know it's been a while, but it's hot here in California. Hydrate. All right. We'll see you later. Bye.